first and foremost, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? You need to go ahead and subscribe. You need to turn on your notification bell. Simply because you don't want to miss all the great things that I'm posting on my channel. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you can. my channel you guys i am shanetta better known here as celestial curls and today i will be finally getting out my staple product video now i do have a staple product video already on my channel and i'll link that above and it goes more into detail of some of my staple products that i continuously go back and buy but today i'm just going to be going over products that i grabbed for the most and these products i use basically when like say i get a um a new collection that i'm trying out and they may not have included like a deep conditioner or a shampoo or oil and i know these products work well on my hair that's what i'll grab for so that's what we're going to go over today i do not have a full face on i started to record i mean i started to go ahead and do a full face for this video and i was like bump that i'm stopping at the eyes throw on a little lip gloss and get right into the video so let's get into this video I do not have a lot of things in my stash as far as pre-pooing. I know a lot of people pre-poo with oils. I don't do that. It's all about what works for your hair ultimately. So when I've gone weeks, because sometimes I will go two or three weeks without washing my hair and I know it's tangled, what I reach for the most is the Diva Curl wash day wonder y'all this stuff is love it is not on the cheap side of course but it works wonder and there is something close enough to that and i would have to say the african pride moisture miracles pre-poo is the closest i've gotten to this right here so it's a cheaper alternative and i'll link that down well they sell on a different website so i'll have to link that wash the, um the pre-poo from African Pride, but this right here is my fave. It just melts all the tangles away. It just get it has a great slip. It's like almost like jelly, kind of um when you're putting it and going through your hair. So and that's the only pre-poo that I use when I absolutely know, like, okay, Shanetta, you're not gonna be able to just go in here and detangle this hair because it, it's a matted mess. So that's what I use. So for shampoos, I have two faves right now that I continuously go back to. And this one um, is in my staples, my original staples video. I still use this. I am not a co-wash girl. I do not like co-washes because one, I have a lot of hair. I produce a lot of oil on my scalp or sebum on my scalp. So when I do go to wash my hair, um, I, I always have some sort of buildup, so I'm always like I shampoo once a week. When I'm washing my hair, I'm shampooing. Unless, like I said, if that collection only gave the co-wash and I want to give an honest review of it, um, but I always put that disclaimer in my videos that I do not fool with co-washes. So this from the ISO Plus, the neutralizing shampoo because it's plus conditioner shampoo i've been using this since my relaxed days this is my favorite 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 like my number one shampoo it breaks down all build up it gives me a clean slate and i i just love it and then this one is also my new fave that i am grabbing for all the time it's the purifying plus uh charcoal detox shampoo from OGX and I just got this like a couple of months ago in my curl box and I have been grabbing this I love this like you don't need a lot of this shampoo to break down all that build up and dirt on your scalp and it just feels so good like you can just feel it detoxifying your scalp when you place it on so this right here is this is my new baby for real this is my old baby this is my new baby they're gonna be fighting Deep conditioners, I have so many deep conditioners. I have them on rotation so that I don't run out of them. But as far as my favorite, 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 it has to be right now the Natural Fusions Chai Seed and Argan Oil Hair Mask. I love this stuff. It smells good. 
it leaves my hair just so soft and it's just i mean so manageable like the tangling with this is a breeze so i really love this it gave they gave us a good amount of product in here so i really like this is this right here this is the only one i'm showing y'all in this video because of the fact that this is the one i grabbed for a lot like a lot a lot when i it doesn't come with a deep conditioner this right here is going in my head but this right here when i ain't trying out no new products this this little baby right here next so protein because that has to be a part of your regimen i don't care who you are you have to have some protein in your regimen and i don't use heavy proteins on there every week but because i keep a great moist protein balance i don't have to necessarily do like the harsh ones a lot if, if that makes sense um so my two that i have on rotation at all times first and foremost i think this one was in my last one of course the myel organics babasu oil mint deep conditioner it is a balance between the moisture and the protein that you need in your hair and i don't use this every week maybe every other week now before when i first went natural and i was not using protein in a lot I started with the FOG one and I think I put that one in my last video and I was using that one every week to get that balance um, back right. Now I use this one or I will use the Camille Rose Nangai's uh, Sabuki Strength Restore Protein Treatment and these both are really like the same honestly. Um, the protein on this one is so far down that I mean is it really a all the way a protein treatment? Like it has protein in it and it does its job like after i use either one of these my hair done bounce back like my hair i mean it, the curls be popping so these two right here are two that i keep on rotation like these two i have in my stash at all times so that i can make sure that i keep that balance between my protein and my moisture in my hair all right now next thing oils I've already mentioned that in my last one, my favorite all-time oil to use is olive oil. I use olive oil from the OJR, the mm, OJR just. I use the ORS Virgin Olive Oil, Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I think it's Virgin Olive Oil. I, I didn't bring it in here and I don't feel like going to get it, but I'll link that down to put a picture of it so y'all can see what it looked like. But I do use that one. It's the Moisture Lock one. I love that. But the other thing is the Ningai Sabuki Strength Restore Hair Oil. I have been using this a lot and I use it in conjunction with the deep conditioner. I do not really put oils on after I have already styled my hair because first and foremost, most of all of these products that we get nowadays, they are loading it with oil. So you don't necessarily need any more oil. Like I touch my hair and I feel like the oils a lot in the, in the products that I use. But when I'm t deep conditioning, this right here, I, I love it. Like, it just adds that extra oomph to it. That's all for oils, y'all. That's all, folks. Edge control. I have a love-hate relationship with my baby hair. It's like, they lay just right for me most of the time. Like, I don't use a lot of edge control. But if I do go reach for edge control, is the cream of nature um argan oil one the black one that's that one's like on rotation that one's going for constantly or oh, the one from old jar why do i want to call it old jar x o r s olive oil edge control um infused with sweet almond and i don't like i said mine's my baby hair is usually they down pretty good so i don't use a lot of edge control but this one right here put that on there and baby you got some little shiny edges yeah so if you one of those chicks that love you a little natural little blade look that's what the ors one do and if you want to go dramatic you want to go dramatic you need to go with the cream of nature mm -hmm. all right you guys so that's it for this video um, if you have any questions about anything else that i did not mention in this video you can comment down below and if you have any staples in your own stash that you think i might need to try out you can also leave that down below if you have not subscribed and i've told you at the beginning 
throughout the video down in the right hand corner then you need to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up um i will be back sometime this week with another video um i don't think it's going to be a hair video i'm not sure yet and i'm also going to be doing a video on how to routines for naturals so thank you all for watching and i will see you all in my next video